got Neowise. How's it going? Yeah, we got an amazing video again back watching Neowise and we're going to see some asteroids or meteors breaking apart as they cross, well, as one of them crosses in front of, um, check it out, of Neowise. We're going to see uh, two other comets, unknown comets, one amazing diamond shaped comet beside Beetlejuice. Enjoy. This is a shot of that meteor or asteroid breaking up as it passes in front of Neowise, just like Atlas did. And we'll see it uh, uh, several different close-ups and zooms and magnifications. Thanks, everyone. UFO passes over top of the tail of Neowise and curves downwards. Watch this fast UFO, right over the, whoops, <laughs> and here it is in slow motion. ready to freak out check the large object that's going to fly by right through the tail or between me and the comet
object a couple of years ago that I got over the sun that I was sure I was going to capture. I even told everyone I'd see it again, and I never did. What do you guys think? Could this be a comet? This was um, near sunset, but the sun was not completely down, and it was high enough over the horizon. It wasn't quite um, at the tree level there. It was high enough, and this object was in the sky. Does it not look like a comet? Let's go see a few amazing captures flying by the sun and yet another unknown comet beside Betelgeuse. But first, this amazing infrared capture will see it a couple of different angles, not angles, sorry, a couple of different uh, magnification close-ups. And this is an object spiraling in rotation that is, uh, does not seem to be outgassing like a comet and it is flying by uh, Sirius. If you've ever seen an image of Earth in front of the sun, you know that it's really not big. Sometimes larger objects can fly by the sun, and look at this large object that would be far larger than Earth flying by the sun. acting as it approaches the sun's corona and you can see it obviously uh, changing its substance to gas and uh, a fire appearing as it's leaving the sun. How do I know it's big you say? Well not many objects make it by the sun. Even the comet was lucky Neowise to get by the sun proving that its interior, the nuclei, is a lot thicker and more solid dense than we think. Here's an unknown comet flying by just off of the edge of Betelgeuse. An amazing, amazing still from a video, which I don't even have anymore, that video, I don't think. This is a beautiful, it looks like an angel, a diamond shaped. And look at the crisscross X's at the back. Um, it could be a comet. I could be wrong again. It is outgassing, right? So do asteroids outgas like comets. I think anything that gets close to a, a hotter object, like these objects are coming from interstellar space, they're freezing, right? Once they get near the solar system and near the sun, they start heating up and they start, uh, their substances start changing, transferring to gas. I don't know if you know him, Ace of Space. <laughs> squeaky. <laughs> the guy's name is Squeaky, I call him Squeaky. That's nice, you can call me Squeaky all you want, Bruce. My new nickname for you is Fat Bastard. What does that sound? <laughs> I'll tell you that Dana Shiver, she's really a sweetheart. If I didn't have a job, and then my name, 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 and Houston, say again, please.